stop panicking and watch this video, you'll soon realise something. So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button, leave a like and a comment. New! People are panicking, you can see on the screen there's panic everywhere, right? And I'm going to go through basically what's happening, right? Simple, 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 simple. We'll talk about the news, we'll talk about Bitcoin, we'll talk about Ethereum, we'll talk about Total 2 chat, talk about Dominus chat, talk about some other coins and stuff like that. I'm going to do more technical analysis because I think, yeah, why not? Why not? So, market is dumping, right? Not much. It's I've seen worse. News, we're going to talk about it. There's been a lot of things happening. Now, this is what I want to focus on Ethereum because I was tweeting about it yesterday and people got a little bit upset. Um, my inbox blew up, right? I'm not going to lie, my telegram went mental, my everything went crazy, and you were like, oh, what, what, what? Yeah, and I want to explain why I did that tweet, and I want to show you why in terms of analysis in a bit. We'll talk about Ethereum for a uh, second. We'll talk about Bitcoin first, sorry. Now, this is kind of a zoomed out picture on the daily. Look at the two-day. You can kind of see what's happened here, right? We have basically, in my opinion, it's like an ABC correction, right? We've had a nice run-up. We've formed a, a low, we've pulled back up to form a lower high, and now I believe we're going to form a lower low. People don't like to hear that, but it's perfectly normal and healthy. 43k looks to be one area where it can go. 38k is also another, and 40k is also another in between this gap. So we've got to look at the obvious. Extension level, top of this previous all-time high, and where this extension is in and around where these wicks have been. That's just simple analysis. But you're probably thinking, well, is it the end of the bell run? No. People are panicking left, right, and center right now, and it's getting on my tits. It really is. Because it is not the end of a bull run. Just because something cools off, just because something corrects, doesn't mean anything. Now, if you know me, you will know that the USD price of Bitcoin means diddly squat, right? It doesn't matter. I just want to grow Satoshi's. I believe in Bitcoin in the long term. I'll come on to other tweets about what I've been talking about Bitcoin recently as well in a bit. But when you zoom out and you look at that, apparently, according to people on my Twitter feed, whoops, what happened there? This is the end of the bull run if we go below $47,000. Really? Okay. Okay. Really? Okay. Hmm. In my opinion, we can go all the way down to 20K and we're still all right. That's my opinion. But hey ho. Anyhow, I do think this will correct. I do think we will drop a little bit lower. I mentioned this a few months back. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, we've been kind of sitting around consolidating, so just keep an eye on it. Anyways, let's talk about Ethereum, right? So this is what we've got. Poo! Boom! Bang! Off we go, right? Now, I did a tweet yesterday about this, right? I wanna, I might put it up. Let's see if I can find it. This one. This makes me think that the run is coming to an end. Everyone talking about Ethereum flipping Bitcoin is exactly like, I, I knew where this position was in terms of the chart. We've had a huge run and people get complacent. What do, what do big money people do? Well, they pull the rug, right? They do a Vitalik, what he did yesterday with those coins. Brilliant, by the way. I'd shake his hand if I could. Can't, it's COVID. But, anyways, right, so this is what we've got. This, was the, this is the old analysis, right? So the old analysis is from this high to the low, pull back, and we've literally hit a top here. But we've also hit another top as well if we're looking on the weekly time frame. Now, what have we found here? So I'll remove some of the noise so you can kind of understand this. We've had impulse, it pulled back, pop. We've hit the extension level, the, the top level in terms of where this can go. Now, in my opinion, we're going to cool off now. We're going to cool off. And as you can see, we've went above it. It was always going to get a bit toppy around here. Whether it blasts through or it keeps going, it never lasts forever. And you've got to look left here. We've got multiple levels of resistance here from the past and some previous support. And, well, yeah, you've got this whole where we are right now. It's not just going to straight go up. It's not going to be only up. Like, oh, oh, it's not going to carry on, right? So that makes me think that people are going to take profit. And, yes we appear to be having that, but we've also got other things at play here. This is a monster move. Now, what could happen here? Well, let's try and predict, because let's just say this is the weekly high. Chances are pretty possible right now, but this is the BTC pair, remember, right? So if maybe Bitcoin cools down quite slow, it may 
go a little bit higher, then it may turn around. However, if Bitcoin finds that bottom at 43K and goes boom, bang, next move up, which I will talk about in a minute, we may well see this fall quite aggressively, which could be the catalyst for the Bitcoin dominance chart to increase. Make sense? Watch. So this could be the new level. This could be the new period. And if you look at where this is going, it's important. Why? Because the 382 is in confluence where previous levels of support has been found. Previous levels of resistance. One, two, support, posh. Right, that's important, right? So, the 618, okay. Previous level of the high, on the nose, by the way. Level of consolidation and another previous level of support in this week and a level of resistance. Okay, that's important. These are weekly time frames, by the way. They, they look like one candle on a wick. It is a weekly time frame. So this is one candle per week, right? So what could happen next? Well, potentially we can go right to the fucking top very, very soon, right? Apologies for the French. But that is the absolute possibility here. We could be forming this correction very soon and then this next high, Kaping. The flipping of BTC and Ethereum is very possible because Bitcoin is one chain, one element, one blockchain, right? One currency, money, right? Scarcity, yes, yes, I know, right? Ethereum is an army of things, applications. It's always going to do it. Do not think Ethereum is better than Bitcoin because it is bigger than it. One is different to the other. If you don't understand Bitcoin, do your research. If you don't understand Ethereum, do your research. And yes, people called me out on the EIP 1559. It's not out yet. We can't talk about it until it's actually here. Come on. This is Ethereum. They like to do things very, very slow. Anywho, right. So that's a possibility. If that is the top. If that is the top. Anyways, moving on. I mentioned before about Bitcoin. I'm going to go back in time a little bit. If Bitcoin does find the next move from this point, and this is an ABC correction, and it starts going up, that BTC chart could be the catalyst for that Ethereum BTC to correct. Therefore, you're going to lose a bit of Satoshis. Why? Why are you asking this? Because there's all kinds of different things with this. Why is this important? Because let's just say the bottom finds it, and this is the end of the correction, and we start then moving back up the kind of, you know, back up, retrace some of these, it gets cooled off, the whales are back in the pool, and we start going towards all-time high again. Let's just say that's a possibility, right, okay? Now, there's little phases in play here. What happens? We have a catalyst for news. What was the news that just came out? This. But it's not just this that's caused this kind of rumbling effect. Now, you've got to think news, panic, Orders get filled, new highs. It's usually what happens, right? It's simple. But this has also happened too. Inflation triggers a sell-off. Today's news, a CIP, a CPI, sorry, surges 4.2%, sending equities and crypto markets to hell. So there's more in terms of the mechanics here of just one person tweeting about the economy and the unsustainable energy consumption of Bitcoin right now, which is what Elon Musk is kind of alluding to here. Now, if you don't know this, a lot of Bitcoin energy supply is actually from renewable sources, likes of, you know, mining rigs in Iceland, there's even stuff in China that's pretty good and effective. You can see here, for 76% of cryptocurrency miners currently use electric electricity, I can't read, from renewable energy sources and an energy mix. 62% are from hydroelectricity. So it's actually not too bad. Yeah, it's expensive, but at least they're not burning stuff to achieve it. Now, moving on to the next part of this phase, I mentioned before about, we know it, that Ethereum BTC chart mooning like everything else is going crazy right now. But this is really low and it will bounce at some point. What will that bounce be because? Well, maybe because Ethereum has found a huge amount of liquidity in and around that level, which I am talking about, this gap here. I feel we're gonna find a lot of new fresh liquidity there, and it will be an opportunity for people to accumulate from 
these previous highs. So if you think if you're a whale and you've sold at 60K and you're looking to buy back in at 43, maybe a little bit lower on a wick, maybe a little bit higher because it might get front run. You may be thinking, Hoo -hoo, opportunity, what will that do? Well, that will bring down this chart. That will bring this up because it's a dominant chart. And the total two chart may still continue going up because people are still flooding into the market because it's fresh wonga, it's a bull market, and people like to invest in shit. That's it. Simple, right? So, does that follow? So, I feel what's happening next is Ethereum's going to cool off. It's going to chill out. It's going to relax. It may well publish some higher USD prices if Bitcoin corrects and goes higher again in the future. However, the BTC pair will get probably slaughtered like a lot of things. A lot of coins look pretty tasty in the BTC pair because the dominance chart is low. I am probably losing people, but I do apologize. Follow my courses, you'll probably learn a lot more. Anywho, with this, it's correcting. It has corrected a little bit this morning. Um, uh, well, last week or so. So if we go from, wow, from the, oh, hello. from the top to that bottom of the, this is the daily time frame, by the way. That's top and bottoms, by the way. I know, don't comment again. 25%, <laughs> quite a big severe drop, realistically, when you think about it. But what happened yesterday was the fact of Vitalik rug pulling on coins. He didn't really rug pull it, let's be honest. He just got given a load of the supply. What did he do? He sold it because he's a clever person, right? Anyways, what is looking good? Let's talk about it because I need to talk, obvious. Okay, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna look at the last 24 hours, aren't we? Yeah, we are, of course we are. There we go. Kosama, Nano looks pretty good. Ave looks really good as well. Um, Curve, a lot of the DeFi platforms are starting to go off a little bit, apart from one that I kind of invested in is doing pretty bad. <laughs> Anyways, um, so Kosama deployment of parachains coming out very, very soon. I think Polkadot will follow this as well. Keep a close eye on both of them. Very, very strong projects, both of them. I recommend them a lot. They're really good. Now, what, let's talk about Kasama in terms of chart and analysis. Let's just go on to it because it does look really good. I think I may. There we go. So this is a chart analysis I've got on it. So we've had this massive pop. So this is on three-day chart. You can look at like the, the weekly or the day. Look at the obvious top. There's bottom, sorry, to the top. Retracement, pop, off we go, right? It's looking pretty good. Looking really good. 618 level tap. Off we go, my friend. Ooh. This is why corrections are important. So what you're seeing here is potentially what you may see very, very soon on the Ethereum chart where it pulls back quite nicely. People are like, oh. and then all of a sudden it goes off again and then people are happy, right? That is what I feel this market is doing right now. And you can see it in the similar sort of vein on the USD charts. And that actually worked out pretty well in terms of my analysis. I don't know what time frame I did this on. Um, looks pretty good. It's worked, it's pulled back, boom, off we go. It kind of rejected twice and did a double tap, but hey ho, it's fine. Anyways, why is this important? Because, wait there, wait there, wait, wait, let me just make sure, yeah, right, okay. So, if we're looking at this level here, it kind of did that, basically. It went up, it pulled back into the 382, it hit it one, two, uh, how many times? Well, it's, it's tapped on it loads of times in the past, but, Again, pull back into it from a much stronger point and then got the liquidity and off we go. So we may well get all-time highs very, 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 very soon as a closure. We've tapped above it briefly. Pull back in Bitcoin has kind of ruined it. But hey ho, Kasama's looking pretty good. I'm just going to remove that because people obviously get a little bit confused. I'll remove that. Um, do I need that on? Actually, we'll do that. Um, and I don't know what I'm doing. That'll do. There we go. Level of support, potentially. Anyways, hope you enjoy. More TA coming because I think it does help people. I hope you understood everything I'm going on because I'm a bit cuckoo. Um, at the end of the day, as I've said, I feel that the Ethereum BTC chat will probably come down if that dominant chat does pop up a little bit. I think Bitcoin will grab fresh liquidity at some point. It is not the end of the bull run. A lot of people want Bitcoin, especially rich institutions due to inflation. Yes, Elon Musk has kind of done a turd, but I feel it's a catalyst. I feel it's kind of there for a reason. If you don't understand the markets, I apologize because you need to understand them to understand what is physically going on. This is an unregulated, mind-boggling market. It's going to be interesting. It's never easy, neither. So make sure you understand. Anyways, I'll be back tomorrow. 
don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Probably more TA, to be honest with you. It's more fun. And yeah, enjoy. Enjoy.